God's battle. He's the one who's going to bring you through. He's the one who's going to give you victory. He's the one who's going to prosper you. He's going to bless you. You don't have to be afraid because my battle is God's battle. My problem is what God is interested in. Your problem is what God is interested in. Then let's begin to take God seriously and begin to praise him because he's a God who brings victory. Now how does God give, bring victory into our lives? I believe that we have to understand how victory happens. A blessed life is the result of being careful with every level of detail. All right. Let me say it again. A blessed life is the result of being careful with every level of detail. Now, if you're not careful with every level of detail... And you think, well, I ought to obey God, I ought to be in church, I ought to read the word, I ought to pray, I ought to walk in faith, and I'm getting about three out of five, then you're not going to have a blessed life. You can't simply say, I'm going to go with the things that I go with that are comfortable for me. But you have to realize what a blessed life is. It is a life that is the result of being careful with what? Every level of detail. You got to go through the list and begin to see where am I as a believer? Am I right with God? Am I walking in the spirit? Am I yielding to the flesh? Am I filled with fear? Is there discouragement in my voice? What is wrong with me? And you've got to be careful with every level of detail. As God teaches you, you have to walk in that truth and say, God, if you teach me, I'm going to integrate it into my life. I'm going to let it work in my life to make me more victorious than I've ever been before. Amen. Now, what is God's plan for you? Just to get you to heaven? No. So that he can have a witness in the earth that he is a good God. That he is a supernatural God that intervenes in the affairs of men. I am going to be different than if I hadn't met the master. Morally, mentally, physically, financially, emotionally, God is going to transform me and bring me to a place I would not have achieved if I hadn't met Christ. He's going to be my teacher. He's going to be the one who's there to be strength to my life. He's going to be my mentor. I'm going to find that he follows me. I'm going to find that I follow him. I'm going to find that there is an equal fellowship between the two of us. I want him and he wants me. And there's a fellowship in the spirit. And God begins to work in my life. And I come to the place that I know what I'm headed for. Victory blessing, prosperity, that I'm going to be a man that God has blessed. I'm going to see the blessings in my life. Why? Because I'm going to be careful in every level of detail. What happens if you are morally correct and you abuse your body, you're going to be destroyed. You see, you have to be correct in every level of detail. This is a generation that God wants to show his blessing upon more than maybe any generation prior to this time. The seeds of benefit and blessing are abounding about us. There is more opportunity to succeed in this hour, but you have to be careful in every level of detail. The raising of your children, the fellowship in your marriage, the relationship you have with your relatives, the thing that happens in your life as you turn toward God, every single bit of it is details, details, details. The Holy Spirit will be there to quicken you, but you have to pay attention if you're going to get blessed. You have to pay attention if you're going to prosper you're going to have to pay attention if you want God to bring you to victory and he's willing to do it in this hour this generation